Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this insane song switch. So I already have my um, my two songs and my two clips in here. So what you're first gonna do is uh, sync your uh, first clip onto the beat, which will the kill will be right here. Sync it up. You can add your velocity and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that right now because it will take too much time. Then um, you're gonna search where you want your second clip to start, which for me is gonna be right here on this frame. So you're gonna cut it. Then you're gonna go over here and search where you want your song switch to start which for me is gonna be on this frame you're gonna right click and press uh, insert remove envelope and freeze frame at cursor you're gonna cut it and you're gonna make a mark right on the cut you're gonna go down here and go plus 30 make another mark plus 30 again and make another mark then you're going to U ungroup the clip and delete the audio insert another video track insert another one uh, paste this on the top one and make it as long as the 30 frames but make sure to do uh, to lengthen it on the right side because if you do it on the left side it will be absolutely fucked um, then you're gonna go over here go one to the right cut it ungroup this and delete the audio again then lengthen the clip over here uh, one to the left uh, again and then you're going to take this part and put it on the beginning of this marker and lengthen it to the 30 as well then right click here go to insert remove envelope and freeze frame at cursor save your file of course um, and you're going to mask your character so go to mask make it a bit bigger if you need it to be enable mask down here on the left and go to your anchor creation tool and then just mask your character it doesn't need to be perfect but don't make it too rough so after you're done with your mask on the first clip you need to mask your second clip as well make sure you're on the first frame and just mask it okay so after you're done masking you're gonna go back to the first frame uh, to the first um, clip and you're gonna copy this so hold control and place it down to copy it and then go to your masking and put the mode on negative you're going to do the same thing for the second clip so you should have something like this right now okay so after you did that you're going to add my presets which you can find in the description down below so you're going to do, go to the effects tab and go to uh, and add on the top one rain song switch skin a and then on the bottom one on the left, you're going to add uh, background A. On the top one on the right, you're going to add skin B. And on the bottom one on the right, you're going to add background B. So after you did that, you're just going to drag in your second clip over here so it fits. And you're going to add um, the beat on the FX. And then you can add like any background you want uh, underneath here. Which for me I'm gonna... I'm just gonna add the background, the paper background thingy. So make sure it's good. then you're going to go to your song 
find on the second song find your beat which is gonna be right here cut it there and find your kill on your second clip which for me is gonna be here you can mark it and then you don't need this until here make your beat on the mark and just drag it until the, the this mark where your song search begins and your first song needs to end where your song switch, uh, your uh, your transition thing ends. So you cut it here and add. You can add resonant filter, and then just add the muffler, and then fade the the top one out. You're gonna. Cut it here as well and add muffler over here as well. There's an filter and then the preset just add muffler and fade this one in. And then if you're gonna, uh, and then if you pre-render it, you should have something like this. And then you're gonna be all done. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe.